Hi guys, happy Diwali and today is Diwali. So I have come to the kitchen, I've taken my bath and I'm going to make two dishes. It This today's menu is going to be like North meets South. So I'm going to make uh, for the Prashad dessert, I'm going to make Atika Halwa. So I have Atta, ghee, sugar and nuts over here and we are going to measure everything and the exact recipe is going to be in the description box below and for the main course the south dish is going to be tamarind rice pulihara pulihora you can call pulihara you can call tamarind rice so yeah i'm gonna start quickly start making it so right now first i'm going to keep the rice for the pulihara so that once it cooks we need to cool it down before adding the tempering and the uh, uh, tamarind paste to it I'm going to share the entire recipe but the exact recipe that I'm going to follow with the measurements is going to be in the description box below. So let's start making it. We're going to make both the dishes side by side. So all the instructions to make them also will be in the description box below because I'm on a time crunch and I need to make both the dishes very quickly and get ready for Diwali as well. So let's get started. So I'm going to use this cup and I'm going to use one and a half cup of rice because we'll be having the same thing for dinner as well. In Hyderabad, I used to make the temple style pulihara, which uh, I used to add a spice powder to it in the end. But right now I don't have a mixer for making the powder. So I can't make it right now. But I'll share that recipe also in the future. This is the simple version. You can make both actually. So I've washed the rice and now I'm going to add salt as per to the taste you can add. And I'm going to add uh, hot water and keep it for boiling and then we're going to strain it once it's cooked. So meanwhile we can do the other prep. I've kept the measurements ready for Atika Halwa. So we have two cups of water, a little less than one cup of sugar because I don't want it to be extra sweet. But the measurement can be two cups of water, one cup of sugar and one cup of atta. And we are going to use half cup of ghee and I have kept the nuts ready to be fried. So first I will fry the nuts and keep it aside and then we will fry the uh, roast the atta along with the ghee and side me any other uh, separate vessel we will take and we will boil and make the sugar syrup. It doesn't need to be any string consistency it just needs to melt and boil. So let's start doing this. So I've kept the pan on the stove and I'm going to add in the ghee. is melting I'm going to add in my nuts and we're going to fry them till they turn light golden so I've uh, fried the nuts until they are golden and now I'm going to add the atta to the ghee And I've kept the flame to low. We're going to nicely roast the atta. So I'm roasting the atta nicely. It has changed slight color and there is a nice aroma coming. So in the meanwhile, I have kept in this vessel. If you can see, the sugar syrup is boiling. We don't want any string consistency. We just want the sugar to melt. And I have already roasted this atta and it looks amazing and there's a nice aroma coming and the ghee is also getting released. So I'm going to turn up the flame of the sugar syrup and then I'm going to add it to this. So the sugar syrup has come to a boil. I'm going to switch off the flame in one minute and then add it to the atika halwa. 
so when you add it you have to be very careful because it's going to be really hot and we have to stir also continuously the atta has come together nicely and i'm going to add in the nuts so our tasty delicious atika halwa is ready so this is the dish i made from the north side so i've garnished it with the um, cashews and they look amazing so yeah happy diwali guys we'll keep it here and start making the second dish so guys i have made the prep for the second dish which is pulihara and this is the prep for the tempering so here my rice is ready and it's cooling off i have strained it and here we have rai urad dal chana dal ginger finely chopped two red chilies and cashew nuts and here i have hing so this is for the tempering some things are missing <laughs> curry leaves curry leaves is missing i don't have it you can add it to the tempering and uh, urad dal chana dal you can take a little less my husband likes the crunchiness coming <laughs> so th for the crunch i'm putting a little more you can put one one spoon each one teaspoon each so this is for the tempering so first i'm going to prepare the tempering and then i will make the tamarind pulsu which is tamarind paste jaggery and little bit of haldi so that will fry stir fry in oil and add it to the rice so then apulihara is ready so let's start the tempering first so in the pan i have taken about 3 spoons of oil for the tempering to the oil i'm going to add the sesame seeds once the oil is not sesame sorry mustard seeds once the oil is hot so now the mustard is crackling i'm going to add the ginger and i'll add the chana dal and urad dal we'll fry all this for few minutes once they turn slight color they become golden we'll add the cashew and the chili i'll add in the cashew nuts so we'll allow this to become nice and golden So I've added the red chilies. I'm gonna fry them nicely. So the tempering is almost done. It's changing color now, and I'm gonna remove it in a plate and keep it aside. To this paste, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Keep in mind that we have added salt in the rice, so this is just a little additional salt. and a little bit of turmeric powder about half spoon fry this paste so if the paste is raw if you have just made it fresh with the imli then you'll have to fry it a little longer This is a ready-made paste and it's looking almost kind of fried. It had its own oil as well. So, I'm not going to fry it for too long. As you can see, it's leaving the pan. This is how it should be. If you're cooking making it from the fresh imli paste, you need to fry it till the imli paste leaves the pan and it comes together like this. To this, I'm going to add jaggery So the pulsu was ready and I added it to the rice. Now I'm going to mix it with my hand. You can mix it with a spoon, but when you mix it with your hand, all the rice grains will get covered with imli paste and that's what we want. So I'll mix it and we'll even add the tempering which we had added. So first I'll mix this and then add the tempering. So I mix the pulihara. I mix the 
tamarind and now we are going to add this tempering to it and mix it again. We don't want any flavor to miss, get missed. So yeah, added the tempering and now I'm going to mix it once more. So our tasty Arteka Halwa and Pulihara is ready and I'm going to get ready for Diwali and serve this and I'll offer the Prashad to God and we'll have the Diwali feast. I don't usually go out this late at night To the place where the animals go But baby I'm here and I'm watching you move There's just one thing you should Desire, swear I'm not a liar. You should dance.